Hello again, party people. So, I've been working on a, uh, a new project. I've uh, run into a fella, and he uh, he gets some super premium uh, knives here. Some uh, some blank knives from a, a foundry. This is actually uh, Damascus steel. And um, it's a pretty... Uh, pretty involved process to uh, to make this kind of steel. It, uh, it has two different types of steel in it and one is very good at keeping a, uh, a sharp edge but the other one uh, gives the metal some forgiveness, a little bit of a bend instead of it being brittle and snapping. Um, so I've got some blanks and um, I decided I'd try and make some, uh, some handles myself and this is my first um, learning handle here, the first one I made and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it came out with a really nice color. Uh, my girlfriend did a little bit of uh, research on uh, different stains and this is an all-natural stain. Um, this has uh, blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, a uh, little bit of vinegar and uh, also oddly enough some uh, instant coffee. Um, I threw that in there to, to uh, darken, darken, uh, darken up the color. Um, the only slip on this guy is on this other side and I know these are ugly uh, uh, nuts on the back here but this uh, this little back one and the, the little bit uh, back one there got uh, I had to take out a little bit extra material because they when I tightened up the first two screws there um, the third one was then off from its original uh, spot where I thought it was going to be um, but anyways first handle it's a little bit on the small size kind of kind of happy with the uh, the medium purplish kind of a color there um, I'm going to redo the handle for this. This knife will probably wind up for my girlfriend. Um, by then I should be a full-blown handle expert. And then I'm going to work on a full-size one for my old man. And um, what I'm doing here is I am taking pecan wood from my uh, father's pecan tree. And I'm splitting it, and I'm shaving it down, and this is how I'm getting the uh, the wood to make for these handles. So um, it's kind of a cool process, and it's also um, you know it also ties into um, you know his yard and uh, and then his uh, his kingdom, if you will, to keep uh, keep this one knife uh, you know whole and in, in spirit, I guess you would say. Uh, anyways, I'm going to try and uh, document um, probably the next two handles, and uh, you'll get to see the process, and um, maybe I'll play with some different stains, that kind of thing. Okay, bye for now.